Oh. You spawn in like your traps. Okay. Well, I'm definitely not doing anything until I've killed these couple of babies that are homing in on me. Unless they wake up everybody else. Don't come over here. Go away. 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 Thank you! Right. This is a safe corner. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Where are we going? Over that way. Let's bap you. Excuse me, I punched you before you chomped. Rude. And you dropped nectar. I forget you guys can drop nectar. You barely did any damage to me, and that's fine. You missed. It died! <laughs> It, it its health was going down slowly. It must have been able to chomp me post mortem. It's like on a Earthbound with a rolling HP counter. You can still act even though you take a mortal damage. Babies do five damage, and the pie is a hundo. The exit's over there. Whee! Yeah, I don't don't like that. Can you not that, please? Toss a Pikmin over that way. You bastard! Wait, did I save him? I saved him. You can actually save Pikmin from the babies. Oh god, they grabbed us both! Right, not a fan of that at all. Oh, the snowy ball bears up there. I've got all my Pikmin back, that's good. Uh, there is... Oh god, no, hang on. No, President, come back, but don't wake everybody up! Ah! Okay. 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 We're fine. We're good. We're fresh and tasty and sweet and delicious. What? Where did he go? I thought he was with me. I don't even know where he went. I'm going to reset solely for the sheer fact that I'm near the end, but Oliver's got, like, no health, and the president who had the most health died, and I didn't even know where he was. I thought he was in the group with me. And I was, I thought I was salvaging the operation, but clearly not. Sub-level 29, we've got this. We just need, uh, not a bad loadout. Right, over here, in this corner, and Tossarino, over him. There we are, on his head. Over there as well. There we are, nicely done. Oh my god, we are being approached on all sides. Right, over here, dismissing. Punch him! There we go. Happy days. And then we can get that nectar. Right, you know what? Uh, let's uh, bunch up here. That'll do. I think we're good there. Right, so we're missing a treasure. Uh, it's not that crazy. All the babies were around me. The exit's over yonder. So, I'm going to drop my Pikmin off here, do some scouting with the weakest captain, and I'm going to call everybody back just in case if something goes wrong. And uh, let's see what we got here. So, where are we going? Could be in an Emperor, for we know. There's a couple of Emperors over there. There's three Emperors here, Ooh, but none of them have it. But now I've got to worry that, depending on where the treasure actually is, do I have to take some emperors out in order to get the piece back? Or, just freeze them. That would be the better idea. Oh my god, it's with the exit, isn't it? Oh boy, this... Oh boy! Hello there, man at legs, right at the exit. I've got to take out the entire floor. And that includes all the Emperor Bulblaxes. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this floor. This is not a good floor. This is like the furthest point away. Well, to be fair... Actually, these are babies. Kill these. Oh! You did not touch me! I was nowhere near that electricity! Hello? Well, that's unfair! I might reset just for that. Well, we got a direct path, but I know for a fact the Pikmin will not take that path. Because if the piece is anywhere in that room, instead of taking that path directly to the base, they will go diagonal 
through those rooms, through those corridors where the Emperor Bulblaxes are. So I don't think that's worth. They may take the hallway if you walk down it first. That's a gamble, because, like, I mean, to be fair, if it goes belly up, I guess I could just do it again anyway, but... I've been in this cave long enough already, it's already been two hours. Still gotta take out these snowies. And I don't wanna get grabbed by that bugger. Literally. That'll do, like, swarm, kill. There we are. But this isn't even the final floor, I've got to think about the final floor as well, and this is a lot of battling. Can I get this... No, don't fly away, I want you over here. Get rid of that thing. Oh, that didn't work. I want to deal with him before I deal with the Snowies. There we are, got him down. And now if that purple gets any funny ideas, I'm not going to be happy. Just get rid of the corpse out of the way. Pulled you away before you did that. There we go. Easy. If there's a snagger in here, we can deal with it. Just gotta wait for him to get stuck and not be out of bounds. It is a big gamble if they actually take this road. I would like you to actually get in here first. There we are, and now I can take care of you safely. Don't fight him, you're gonna get electrocuted and that'd be stupid. There we are, kill him. Wait me! There we go. Right, as long as they're flipped, they can't do anything. Uh, that's not ideal though! Everybody back! I'm missing a Pikmin, I don't know where he's gone. Why is he over there? He's knocked down, he's dead. Oh, he could be grabbed. Oh, chucked into the Bulborb's mouth by the Snitch Bug? What the hell? These Snitch Bugs are on another level. Like, they're tossing them on top of Wallywogs to get squished. They're, instead of planting them, they're chucking them down enemies' throats. Like, what? These things are cracked. They really, look at it. They're rubbing their hands. They know what they're doing. I will never stop pointing that out. These enemies are like the cheekiest ever in the game. Save Wallywogs themselves, because they just cheat. They're like the best Smash Melee players in the world. Right, this one can't grab me, so I'm just going to do this. Or you could fly into my stream of Pikmin and potentially get knocked down. That's an idea. When I learn how to program now, I know what to do. Snitch bugs throw Pikmin into another end. No, don't get any ideas, mate. Paddy beat you to it already with these cracked snitch bugs already. I'm going to have to pluck them back up again. Right, I'm dealing with you next because it's your pain. These things are practically harmless once you flip them. There we are. Right, get him. Ah, oh, still got two more to deal with, especially one that can grab captains. Don't like those. Ah! Why have you woken up? And you woke him up. Right, turn around, you. Turn around. Get destroyed. Purples are actually working as intended. 
gonna deal with this guy now. There we go, you're dead, happy days. And now we just gotta take out all these bugs before we gotta to commit to the man at legs. Which in itself is a scary prospect. And I will be keeping all my purples away because they will not reach and I'll need them to pick up heavy, anything heavy. You went into the... Like, seriously? There we are. Have a party. There's another one dead. Oh, I flipped you. We're going to commit to that. No, we're not. I like how I say no, I'm not, and I still get grabbed. I cannot get off him. Right. We're good. We're good. That was very cheeky, that was. At least they're becoming flowers. That's useful, I guess. They can do it through the walls? When could that happen? I don't think that should be allowed. Oh my god, what if they do it across the entire map? What's their range to connect? That's a scary fall. Not what I was preparing my Pikmin for, but... <laughs> Pikmin fall. I did a funny. Right. Can I lure you over here or something? No, don't do that. That's bad. All these corpses are going to cause a problem. I will be taking all these corpses out of here before dealing with the man at legs because I know that's going to cause me issues. Or should I start doing that now? I'm not going to do that now because if I commit to doing that now, it's going to be... I saw you wake him up off screen. I don't need that, seriously. Can you get over here? Stop rubbing your hands. Yo, I'd rather take you out first, to be fair. Excuse me? Yeah. He actually got away. Cheeky bastard. What? How did they not wake him up until now? What the fuck? They heard my plan and they said, screw it, we're gonna trigger the beastie. Now I can't clear out the room. Now I'm in trouble. I need to run. Hopefully he can't come to this side of the map. Right, everybody over here that's not planted, dismiss. Right. I'm gonna have to literally take everybody of the primary colours. And just hope that they'll be safe over there. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We've got to deal with this as well as the electricity. Where is he? breathing. I'd like him to come over here if possible. The snitch bug woke it up, what? Yeah, but they were walking all over him that entire time and didn't trigger him once. Okay, he's shooting erratically because he doesn't know where I am. But that is kind of a problem because I've got all the... Oh. As long as this... I see you. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm leading him to base. This is not smart. No, uh, power up. Okay, he's running away. Right, what are we doing here? I'm waiting for him to start sniping so I can get him. Oh my god, I'm hesitating so much. I could have done so much damage. Actually, I think I've got them in an amazing spot. And they will most certainly have to take this path now. <laughs> ah! Don't do that! Why's my pigment void out? I don't want that. Get around the corner. Don't get off that. Damn it. That... I kept trying to save that one stupid yellow, but he really wanted to be on that side of the wall. Do you want to play hide and seek? Can you come over here, please? Back over here. There you go. That's my life. Right. 
But you... Well, you're dead then. <laughs> you're stupid. This is working out better than I hoped. <laughs> Come on, over here, you bitch. Over here. Come on. I've got an all you. Come on, take the path. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. Right, run. <laughs> he is almost done. One more cycle and we got him. And because he's in this path, they will have to take the treasure down this way. And therefore, we've got an easy win out of this. And I've only lost literally, what, three Pikmin? Once I can pluck up the rest of them. Come back here. Over here, you bitch. Come on. I mean, at least it saves me fighting the rest of the enemies in that room. Got him! <laughs> Kaboom! There we go. Take that back immediately. There we go! You stupid! <laughs> What's 9 plus 10? So we've been trolled by because I have a custom enemy idea and insert kaboom wind sound effect. Oh, you want that, do you? I should probably have that as a blur. Now, the thing is, I need to rescue those four up there before I can kill. Uh, to be fair, I could just kill the enemies now because I don't have to worry about the freaking man at legs. And now I can get all my Pikmin back and I'm good because they won't die. And for those wondering if I'm going to grab all the corpses, probably not, there's no need. My only worry is if they do actually shock cross country, because that would be unbelievable. Although I do want to just toss you there. There we go, so you're dead, you're not less of a worry. Get off his back, please, thank you, indeedy. Oh my god. Oh, well, you know what, that's fine. Alright, that's no longer fine. I like how that's when he decided to actually make the uh, make the swoop. Okay, the anode beetles are coming close to me along with this swooping snitch mode. There we go. Not not snitching. Uh... I can't remember the name of the alternate version that picks up the thing. They're basically of the same species. So let's just call it what it is. It's you! Considering the big hitbox that, you know, killed Olimar? Well, that was not ideal. They flew further than where I was aiming because of the momentum-based stuff. So that's two Pikmin lost unnecessarily. But I can still gain six back. So it's still worth at the end of the day. Otherwise they're like permanently gone. Bumbling snitch bug, not swooping. For some reason, I couldn't remember the name. Knock your mover. There we go. Right. Kill, 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 kill. And then I'm calling back immediately. Right. Killing this guy because he's in between everything. Paralyze him. There we go. Okay, they do have a range. Otherwise, oh, he, would, he would have connected all the way across. So they do have ranges. And then I can pluck everybody here. Unfortunately, though, they got degraded because they did actually flower up. But... Well. Five losses, I think. Five losses on floor 29. Time for floor 30. Not what I was expecting. Honestly. Right. Frogtier Cavern, let's go. Hang on. Really? Again? I'm getting deja vu here. Everybody up there. There we go. Right. I don't have a second captain, so that's a problem. This is literally just Empress again. I'll reset in a minute. I want to know what's eating my Pikmin. Oh, well, that's unfair, isn't it? Bloody 
Bulbul, Bulbay, you know what I mean. That fecking thing. Always that guy. I didn't even know he could spawn there. Are you actually kidding me? That's a place he doesn't normally spawn? Should I just wait at base until he decides to show up? Or something. Because there is a limit to how many babies can spawn, and they'll probably get stuck against the wall. So I could just punch them walking by. Ugh, this is not going to be pretty. Alright. I've got to wait for that bastard to show up, and then we can actually get started on the level proper. No, he doesn't spawn there. He just happened to walk all the way there. Probably unhindered. Oh, there he is. Right. Cheeky bastard. Get your ass down here. He's got babies as well following him. There we go. Right. So that's all sorted. And we've got a bit of nectar as well, which I will gladly take. Right, unless there's another one I'm not aware of. Uh, let's get all my Pikmin up there. Because we're at the end here, we might as well not get all my purples up there. It's actually probably a good idea, now I think about it. No, I need all my Pikmin up there because uh, I haven't got a second Pikmin a pick captain. Get the right word. To rally them. Go away. Could you not be in the way, please? I mean, I see these things here, but... Ow. Don't need that. Just trying to reduce the numbers a little bit. So I can have a little bit of time. To not have my purples. At least you don't need them to bash the exit, I guess. Right. They're just kind of huddling against the wall there. Well, they're gone, but it's a small price to pay to get it started so the babies can't get on top of me. How are they still fighting on him? I'd rather the, keep, uh, the, the mother keep rolling as well. At least I don't have like two fiery bull blacks and god knows everything else up here. It's being disrespectful. In fact, you know what? Get over here. Yeah, feck you! And of course my red potion will off. Right, call them back. Let's get this up. Thing is, every time you use a power potion, it's technically armor. Why do they? Why do they just continue to do that? At least there's no rocks. That's good news. been useful quite a long time ago. Then again, the free hit combo is also pretty slow, so it could leave you wide open, so. Give or take. But I need to grab it, unfortunately, so, you know. Right, just get that immediately back to base, and there we are. That wasn't as bad. Like, I'd say the middle part was the worst, honestly. I mean, Gatling Grunks are annoying, but you can bait them like, as long as they don't spawn camp you upon, well, spawning. Um... The middle part is just 
well, frog tier cavern. It was just ridiculous on how many frogs they chuck at you. And yeah, but this, but most of the floors are actually pretty simple and I only lost what? 20-ish Pikmin from floor 20 onwards because I had 60 getting there. Having a roll? She's on a roll. She is the roll. She is on a roll. She is a roll and she has rolls. A triple on Pandra, that one. Maybe get closer when throwing them. That way you don't miss. I mean, it was mostly due to the fact I was trying to yeah, fist bump. But yeah, it was um, it was more like that. I was trying to aim where her head was because I know her head's a weak spot. Woo! I used a lot of red potions on that one, but I didn't have the Pikmin numbers for it, really. But there we go. Frontier Cavern complete. And that means the whole of the uh, Valley of Repose is now complete. Bloody hell, that took over two hours. And half of that time was just getting back there. Another 65 deaths. So I had 71, 61, 65. So yeah, really, I only lost a couple of Pikmin on that one floor with the Man at Legs. The Man at Legs, it's a problem on his original battleground. Because like he's normally on a battleground that's spherical with only a couple of indents. But the thing is, you can outrun his shots as long as you're strafing around him. So, and as well as your Pikmin being um, powered up with well, Ultra Spicy Spray, so they move faster and stick with you. As long as you're doing that, you can basically do what you do in Pikmin 4. You can just basically run laps around him, not get hit, and then you camp underneath him and bundle him. And that's basically what I was doing. Lock that in. And we didn't even lose all my purples. I mean, a couple of times I did, but we also got squashed with boulders a couple of times. And Olimar is down again, but he put a hell of a fight. To be fair, this is the president's ship, so it kind of makes sense we keep him alive, but... Yeah, they really do just sit on the floor when they land. It's kind of funny. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> ah, that's funny. But yeah, um, that is basically the entirety of the Valley of Repose now done. End the day! Get up, Ollie Moes. To be fair, he had fun with boulders. Because <laughs> pioneers used to ride those babies for miles. Oh, that's playing. I'm going to have a little look see around this area. I got hit in the ship once again. <laughs> Imagine having like barely any health in that. Hey look, it's a ring. <laughs> there we go. There's the six treasures we were missing. All pretty valuable. I mean, it says worthless statue, and yet it's just as much as the priceless statue. It's kind of dumb there. 45 out of... um corpses that we didn't really need. That bowl bear took long enough damage to shape. Mm. Yeah, I only lost two whites. Oh, yeah, and I only lost seven purples. I took out about 14. Yeah, didn't lose uh, too much there, really. I, I want to see how many I've lost to battle. 792 to battle. 95 to explosions that I kicked. Jesus Christ. So I've had 900 deaths. And yet I still have my 1400 that I haven't really messed with. Diddly diddly. Bop -da -bop. There it is. At my age, reminiscence, why the fool, Louie? Do you remember the hill behind our house? You hated play outside, so I made you eat. So I made you eat bugs and plants. Sounds like child abuse. Maybe that's why Louie's so messed up. Might explain a lot, to be fair. I've never actually read that out loud, I don't think. There we go. Valley of Repose is done. That was a tough cave. Like, it's the only cave that I've had to literally bail and then go in, and then I had to do it twice over. But that, the final stretch there, I mean, like, that ball bear threw me off, but I only had to reload that final floor once. There weren't, like, an orange and two fiery bowl blacks. In the arena of the Empress Bowl Blacks. And that was what's causing me a lot of issues on the on floor 13. I guess because, you know, 13 is, you know, the devil's 
number in Japan, but that might be what you were going for. Can't wait until you get to the shenanigans in the Cavern of Chaos. I don't even know what cave I'm going to start with in um, the Wistful Wild, to be fair. I mean, I've got plenty of potions still, so I can still tackle maybe one of them. But I haven't found... I didn't reach the other cave right before the end of the day, but I want to get the last above-ground treasure, which we have plenty of time to do. 